Ladies and gentlemen, here comes the phenomenal one. A man who exceeded all expectations in WWE and is now a first ballot Hall of Famer. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Gainesville, Georgia. Weighing in at 218 pounds. The phenomenal AJ Styles. From where they've been in their career to where they are today, this is indeed a dream match between AJ Styles and Finn Balor. The Prince has arrived. A man who has passed judgment on all of WWE. And his opponent, representing the Judgment Day. From Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 190 pounds, Finn Balor. Well, Finn Balor is a true fierce competitor who will beat down anyone in his path. Balor has honed his skill set and turned his entire body into a weapon. Hey, let's not forget, Balor is a very gifted technical wrestler. Yeah, Balor also has a very nasty attitude. Who are you to pass judgment on a member of the Judgment Day, Byron? Well, he attacks the body and the mind. The mark of a truly intelligent competitor. And oh, how he has developed a long, sadistic streak. I completely agree, Cole, and I completely enjoy it. Finn has got the Balor Club behind him tonight, and AJ Styles better be ready for the full force of it. A pressure-packed situation we have here, Corey. When you have two generation-defining superstars going at it, the pressure always reaches a fever pitch. Styles and Balor know their legacy. Now, they're out to prove who's better. Ah, crush a hamstring. Shot block. AJ Styles. Ooh, impactful knee drop on elevation. Balor timed that just right. Double leg. Uh oh. He must have seen that coming. And that was a hell of a maneuver there, guys. And Balor's being picked apart now. Seeing some thunderous offense from Styles. Getting tossed. Don't do it. Slingshot sent on to the outside. Just a devil may care attitude on full display. Going for broke and it pays off. Just disrespectful. 
Something AJ Styles has to utilize if he wants to win this match is his incredible agility. The way AJ can fly around the ring can leave opponents stunned and create offensive openings for saving us from having to sit through that. AJ still holding the upper hand now. Look at Styles pushing the pace here, staying agile and creating offensive openings. AJ pausing to soak up the adulation of the WWE Universe. Not allowing that to go on any longer. Kick right to the back of the leg. Look at this. Oh, from the rope. He could pin his opponent right here. He's able to kick out before two. It'll take more than that to hold him down. And he's out of there in a nick of time. He gets back into the ring. Drop kick. Oh, targeting the arm. This has got to hurt. There's return fire on AJ. Tagged with a punch. Oh, nice deep arm drag. Whatever the cross face. Working that hold now. He's got it locked in. He may not have a choice. He may have to tap. We're going to free the arm and does just that. Put it in position now. Down on the windpipe. Here he goes for the win. He breaks the ref's count before two. It's hard to believe, but it looks like he still has some gas left in the tank. He's doing a whole lot of gesturing, and it could cost him. AJ Styles rolling through, and the ropes forced to break. He did not want to be caught up in that submission any longer. And he goes into the ring. Close line! Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. Neck breaker! Ah, oh, face first off the post. Take down, put it the cross face. Oh, what a cross face. Well, this isn't gonna win the fall, but it's gonna do a lot of damage. Right, We're gonna free the arm and does just that. just continuing to dismantle their opponent. All oh, that training's paying off. He creates space with his legs. Man, this is about as close as you can cut it. They're playing with fire here. To the outside. This could get wild. Uh-oh, looking to lock it in. I'm going to tap out here, but it ain't going to matter. You still do a lot of damage, though. Three. We're going to free the arm and does just that. Four. Driven into the barricade. Oh, God. Finn Balor has his sights set solely on his opponent now. Gets inside the ring. Big risk here. He may be counted out. He might be oblivious to the count, guys. The end is looming now. Yeah, this is a dire situation right now. Oh, my gosh! Styles knows what this crowd came to see. AJ. Has AJ delivered the exclamation? Cover! And AJ Styles is your winner.
Here is your winner, the phenomenal AJ Styles. Look, there is no embarrassment in coming up short to the phenomenal AJ Styles. I second that. A great effort by Finn Balor, who was just not extraordinary enough tonight. This guy doesn't deserve her as a teammate. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, Maurice and the this is not the usual pairing you would see, Corey. Maybe there's some cause for concern before the match even begins. Look, he should feel fortunate to be teamed up with her. If he just follows her playbook without question, they'll be fine. We are graced by the presence of two all-time great competitors. They inspire each other to be better. I'm inspired because they are their best when they are at each other's side. It also makes the cheating a little easier. A young lady who loves to fight, Cora Jade. But does she actually like skateboarding? And their opponents. First, from Chicago, Illinois, Cora Jade. Amazing young talent, already won the NXT Women's Tag Titles and has main evented a number of times as a singles competitor as well. seen this much blatant misuse of a skateboard in wrestling since the dynamic dudes. But Cora can get it done in the ring. The Chain Gang Soldier has arrived. Hey, already one of the best competitors in WWE. And also definitely one of the best rappers in WWE. And from West Newberry, Massachusetts, weighing in at 240 pounds, John Cena. A man who has captured multiple world titles, headlined WrestleMania, and I'm starting to believe John Cena just cannot be stopped. This man has already captured multiple world titles. He has a hit rap album, and I heard he may even try acting. Well, that doesn't work out for John Cena. He always has a home here in WWE. You doubt Cena, Saxton? Hey, John, Saxton says you're not gonna make it in Hollywood. No, qu quiet, Michael. John, I wasn't saying that, I swear. Ladies and gentlemen, we have quite the mixed tag match in store for you tonight with Maurice and The Miz. And in the other corner, they will be dealing with Cora Jade and John Cena. A mixed tag team match like this is where you see some strange alliances start to form. Fez Press takes him down. And well-timed maneuver there. Cover. Shoulders are down. Well, well, you have to question this decision. What a barrage of stops. Putting the boots to an opponent will take the fight out of them in a hurry. 
Vicious arm stop. Oh, oh God. Cora being the aggressor. Maurice needs to find an opening fast. Maurice is out of the way. Put into place. Now we know what the five fingers say to the face. Oh my gosh, terminating knee smash. Close line, so effective. Neck is trapped. Suplex. John Cena feeding off the WWE Universe as he so often has. Across the top rope, what a hot shot. Ah, oh, John Cena. He's adamant about this set out power bomb. Set him up. Russian leg sweep. Yeah, this tracks. Miz never did meet a crowd he didn't know how to play to. Belly to belly. Jarring impact. He's lost some of his win now. Side Russian leg sweep. Oh, 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 perfect four. That ends this mixed tag match. Here are your winners. Poor Jane and John. Falling victim to the ref's count, this one is over. I hate a count out. I feel cheated, and I know the WWE Universe feels cheated.
Wow, this is so exciting. Oh, oh, oh. There's a this competitor oh. in no time. Oh, oh, it's a cross for the bell. Completely unloading on their opponent. The officials restored some semblance of order. Now they can throw down proper. Not wasting any time here. If he thinks he has it. Kicks out at just one. He's far from finished. Oh. Strong forearm. PDT plants them. Big boot. That's right, Truth. What's up? Big time spine buster. Could lead to a big time win. Dropping the elbow right on the knee. Our truth is maintaining the advantage now. Our truth with impressive offense here. Bang! Into the cover. He forces a break before the count of two. Staying in this one. Truth caught by surprise. Lashley's pushing back now. Could be the chance for Lashley to change the complexion of this match. Snap suplex. Going right after the neck. Neck breaker. You're not going to intimidate Lashley or outpower him or get the best of him on the mat. Corey, what does an opponent have to do to conquer the almighty? Lashley lives and trains in Denver, Colorado, exerting himself at high altitudes. So the longer this match goes, the more it benefits him. Catch Lashley off guard as soon as possible. Get him out of sorts and surprise him with a big move. Not the position you want to be in right now. No, 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 no. Power bomb out of the apron. Oh, man. They do not care who or what they destroy. Yeah, Byron, you are dangerously close to being collateral damage in this one. Looks like Bobby is locked in on his opponent now. He heads outside, count-outs legal in this match. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Close line! Hey, all right. Now is no time to dance. Are you <laughs> kidding me? <laughs> I love it. He's feeling the effects of that last hit. Thunderous right hand. He can end it here. And a shoulder in the air. I didn't think this match was close to over. That's right, Truth. What's up? Landing on top of the skull. And will this be it? And he easily stops the ref's count. That's still a quick kick out at this point. Belly to belly suplex. Body lock applied. Great body control. And that was a precisely measured attack. Oh, this isn't going to be good. Gut buster. Across the shoulder. Filthy. Solid contact from Bobby Lashley. Oh, ouch! Just a continuous rush on our truth here. Yeah, somehow truth has to turn the tide. Back suplex. Oh no! And he goes for the pin. Our truth. What a kick out! Kicking out there really has to make his opponent question his game plan. Launch out to the outside. That is the attitude of a daredevil. The ability to take risk with minimal trepidation. No fear, absolute reckless abandon. That's right, Truth. What's up? Okay, he's re-entering the ring. And Lashley saw what was coming. The Almighty showing his dominance. Saw that coming. We've seen a lot of contentious rivalries here in WWE over the years, but this is really starting to go over the edge. I'm sure they're not thinking about it right now, but this rivalry is going to cause them to live on in infamy. The things they're doing to each other, to anyone who dares stand in their way. This is only getting worse.
And it's inching in the hurt lock. Lashley with the hurt lock. The Almighty wants the submission. Oh, no, this is not where he wants to be. Yeah, hey. but can he roll on his body? Can he roll? Can he roll here and counter this? Fight it. Fight it. Full Nelson locked in pretty good here. Oh, look at the power. That's tremendous power. He gets the break. Look at this. Boom. Nice. Is it enough? The cover. Two. That's it. The blood and sweat put into this match. Well worth it. Here is your winner. The almighty Bobby Lashley. What a victory. That's how you take down an opponent. That's certainly one way of looking at it. It is true they did whatever they had to do to get the win. Let's not ruin this moment of celebration. They earned this. Earned it with sneaky tactics. Well, strategy without tactics is the... The American Nightmare has arrived. The son of a dream looking to realize his destiny in WWE. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. A man who's made it his mission to show the power of the Rhodes name. Son of the dream, who is set to become every competitor's worst nightmare in WWE. A man, an animal, who has done it all in WWE. And his opponent from Washington, D.C., weighing in at 290 pounds, the animal, Batista. Oh, the animal will punish with no remorse and no mercy. Batista's story is that of indescribable rage. He has this insatiable desire to inflict pain on his prey. Yeah, it is really frightening when you think about what Batista is truly capable of. He won the Royal Rumble in two different decades. He's a decorated champion, a Hollywood action movie star. And Batista doesn't care what anyone thinks. He's obsessed with what he wants, and what Batista wants is domination. Time to unleash the rage.
And with the bell, Batista is ready for action here. And Batista looks as imposing as ever. An absolute physical specimen. His predatory animal instinct only amplifies the fear that his opponent must be feeling right now. And we all know that Batista loves the thrill of the hunt. Taking on Cody Rhodes, about as clever as they come in the squared circle, which is part of what makes him so dangerous. You don't get a nickname like the American Nightmare for no good reason, Saxton. Cody lives up to it and then some, both when it comes to the physical and cerebral fight. Drives a foot into the cover. Stops the ref count before two. Those one counts getting harder and harder to kick out of. Comes back into the ring. Uh-oh. Dark matter. Corey, what do you think Cody needs to do here to assure? Uh-oh. And the rope forces the break. Great effort, though. How insulting is that? The ultimate sign of disrespect. Shot to the back of the neck. Reversal. Can they go on the attack? And just check out the face of Batista after that. He could do it here. And he manages to kick out in one. A little closer to getting the pinfall there, but this is still anybody's fight. Cody Rhodes, third of breaker. Is it enough? Two. A victory can't taste much sweeter than that. Champion retains. Oh, oh look us. at this. Turn From behind. Celebration has just been cut short. The thing about being champion is there's always a target on your back. Again! Oh, man! Laid out with his own championship. Despicable. fighter. Kevin Owens is always ready for a fight. The following is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring from Marieville, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 266 pounds, Kevin Owens. Credit where credit's due, Owens realized his shortcomings and has refocused recently. Indeed, the prize fighter's back. Since day one, it has been about one thing, fight Owens, fight. And the time to fight is just moments away. The Scottish warrior, Drew McIntyre, has arrived. And the fight is about to start. We have learned that wherever McIntyre goes, brutality follows. Right now, it is McIntyre who is leading the WWE Universe into battle. The Scottish warrior has earned every bit of respect he is given. He's transformed from the chosen one to a real life fire breathing dragon. Yeah, the WWE is the Scottish warrior's battleground and he will go face to face with absolutely anyone. Here 
comes the next big thing. From Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 295 pounds, Brock Lesnar. What a rookie year for this young man, Brock Lesnar. No, you're not kidding. King of the ring, multiple WWE titles, and he main evented WrestleMania. Brock Lesnar has been on a rampage thus far in his career. He's already unseated main eventers and destroyed legends. Yeah, indeed, his career has grown exponentially in just a matter of months. He's called the next big thing, but he might be the biggest thing already. Triple threat match underway with the opening bell. One more superstar to account for. One more eye to have in the back of your head. Any strategy you might have had going into this match, it's time to throw it out the window. Put into the corner now. Oh, God. That looked devastating. Strong right forearm. Solid punch. Close line. What impact. McIntyre reverses and looks to capitalize. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. Ooh, bad landed. I don't think people realize the amount of strength it takes to hurl someone like that. Shoulder tackle. KO reminding the audience that this is his show. He steps foot in the ring again. Hooked up. Great power. Inverted suplex. Planning on what to do next. Right across the larynx. Oh, what a DDT. Wow. Slips out of the way there. What reflexes? Whatever's playing here can't be good. Hurled away. No other way to say it, guys. That looked like it hurt a lot. Paint a picture for me, Corey. Hypothetically, what are some tactics you'd use to win a no-DQ match? Well, I'd stash some kendo sticks beforehand. Maybe have a buddy waiting to give me a much-needed hand. Maybe throw Saxton like a fastball special. That's the beauty of a no-disqualification match. You can do all that and not get dinged. The sky is the limit. Lands face first. Kevin Owens with the torture rack. Oh, into the neck breaker. And here's a cover. And he gets the shoulder up before two. Just using the adrenaline to stay in the match. We're no closer to a winner just yet. Can he score the pin? And he breaks the pin. Power bomb dropped him. You have to question what kind of malintent is behind a power bomb with that much force. Laid down with a power bomb. The sledgehammer, how do you recover from that? A big mount of salt being added to the wound by KO. And there was some force on that move. These are dangerous attacks on their own, but now the damage is exponentially multiplying. This is getting more and more alarming with each uninterrupted attack. Forearm oh. smash! Kick to the stomach puts an end to that. Short clothesline line hits its mark. Whitney Lariat. Is it enough here? No, a kick out. 
He's not letting fatigue set in or get the better of it. Oh, the sledgehammer connects. That'll scramble your insides. He's struggling a bit here. Yeah, triple threat matches are no cakewalk, and they are showing us why right now. The pain and punishment, it really builds. And He's got him down. Is this it? And gets the win, beating the odds in this triple threat. Here is your winner, the Scottish Warrior, Drew McIntyre. Quite the impressive victory coming out on top against two very capable, very prepared competitors. I cannot even imagine how any of these men feel after a match like that. Oh, I can really... The whole effing show. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Battle Creek, Michigan, weighing in at 235 pounds, Rob Van Dam. From ECW standout to WWE legend. One of the most unique athletes sports entertainment has ever known. A man who's held multiple world titles, been the face of ECW. RVD is a man who sets the bar very high. Guys, there is only one Rob Van Dam. his opponent from New York, weighing in at 280 pounds, Bew Ray. Gentlemen, this has all the makings of an all-time classic match, and I fully expect it to deliver on that promise. He is physically and mentally prepared for the task at hand in his big-time match. Guys, I know we're all excited when we saw those initials on the card tonight. R. V. D. Rob Van Dam is one of the most exciting superstars to ever step through the ropes. He's going for the pin. And kicks out before the count. He needs to deal more damage before trying that again. A bear hug, squeezing the breath out of them. All right, this one's over. Tap out. The bear hug cinched in. Got to find a way out and catch your breath. Look at this. No quit whatsoever. Ready down elbows and escaping the bear hug. And did you hear the impact of that? This could do it. Calls the pin off with a rope break. Oh, mm. kick connects. RVD making sure everyone knows who the whole effing show is. He's got the answer for that one. Here's the Gorilla Press, Insane. what power. Insane. Up and down, not done yet. Into a moonsault, what a combo. Gets his shoulder up before the two count. He couldn't make much of that pin attempt. Uh-oh. Counters that. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. Hits him with a gut wrench suplex. What impact. 
Corey, facing off against a legend like RVD has got to be intimidating in thought, let alone in practice. I agree. Vaulting plancha, incredible. Just exhibiting their fearlessness. Exhibiting guts and accuracy as well. And that was an effective attack, guys. Ooh. Ah, knee lift. He has been here before, and he knows what he needs to do. Thrown back in under the ropes. Can he do it here? Gets the shoulder up at one. Getting that shoulder up seemed to be pretty easy. Was mounted with punches and not and a Oof. stop to the gut too. The damage he's taken is starting to pile up. Eats a punch to the face. And we've seen how this rivalry has escalated to the point that no one involved cares about the collateral damage they've caused. Hell, Michael, they don't even care about their own well-being. They just want to destroy and embarrass the other, no matter the price or consequences. And that is what makes this whole situation so scary. Held in a perilous position. Oh, man. And now gets tossed into the ring. He wants even more out of his opponent. Yes, he didn't come here to watch him boast and taunt. He's heading to the floor, but he can't take his time. Big slam. RBD playing off his long-time connection to the WWE Universe, trying to get them behind him. Tiger suplex. Kick out. Fighting hard to stay in this match. Perfect time to attack when his guard is down. Stop in the leg. Oh, right to the kid. His shoulders are down. Power right out in one. Strong kick out, but you have to wonder if he can keep it up. Getting set up for something in the corner. RVD puts the man right where he wants him in the drop zone. RVD gonna climb to the top rope. The leg moves up. Off into the pin. Two count, three. Oh. And this was just so close to being over. Woo, that was close. Looks like he has his finger on the trigger now. Vaulting plancha. Incredible. That's finding any which way to topple the competition. Hurling your own body like that is insane. <laughs> Letting his opponent know he can take on the world right now. Oh! Squaring off right by our announce table. Getting back into the ring. Alabama slam! That was all sorts of nasty. What a spin kick! Headed to the top rope. From the top! Kick connects from the top. A picture-perfect moonsault. There's two! He kicks out at two. Almost inhuman at this point. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. RVD! He foiled that attempt. He went right into that turnbuckle. What is this superstar planning now on the top rope? Bringing their opponent with them? 
perched up high. This is hazardous. Avalanche powerbomb. Does that finish Van Dam off? All right, kick down. RBD possessing a hardcore amount of tenacity right there. And I think to get the pinfall, you have to try that maneuver one more time. No quarter being given by either competitor. You have to believe this one's going to be decided by the smallest of margins. Up and down the hard way. Oh, gosh. Placed in the corner. What is this superstar planning now on the top rope? Bringing their opponent with them. Perched up high. This is hazardous. Oh, Avalanche powerbomb. Can he Cutter. put this one away? Out of the world. RBD displaying all the fight left in him with that kick out. This was the moment to capitalize on. That should have been the end. What a barrage of stops. This building is rocking right now. Can you blame him? Did you think that this superstar would be able to get back into this match like this? Absolutely not. No way. RVD setting him up. I think we're going to get to see it. Split leg moonsault from RVD. Hard-fought victory for this superstar tonight. And oh, look at this! Oh, with a oh, kendo oh. stick, are you kidding me? What's the meaning behind this? We'll find out in due time that the message was sent crystal clear. Here comes the head of the table. Guess what, folks? It's time to acknowledge the tribal chief. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Pensacola, Florida. Weighing in at 265 pounds. The World Heavyweight Champion, Roman Reigns! Well, here's a man who's held the Universal Championship for over two years. Greatness redefined. That's God mode. When you see a superstar like Roman Reigns, you see a man who seems practically untouchable. Exactly, Saxton, like a god, an immortal. Part of the pantheon of all-time greats in the WWE. You can count on one hand the amount of people who've held the championship as long as Roman Reigns. By the looks of things, Roman Reigns is ready to continue his unparalleled domination. Hey, Michael. It's fight night! You've obviously never, ever been in a fight. Please never do that again, Saxton, for all of our sakes. And his opponent, accompanied by Ridge Holland, representing the Brawling Brutes from Dublin, Ireland, weighing in at 267 pounds, the Celtic warrior, Sheamus! The leader of the Brawling Brutes. I'll tell you, this guy will fight anyone, even his friends. Well, it's a good thing Sheamus doesn't consider you a friend. Still a lot of fights left in the Celtic Warrior, that's for sure. 
A pint and a fight is a good Seamus night. And my sources say the Celtic warrior already has a couple cold ones waiting backstage. And Roman Reigns is really taking things to a new level since he ascended to the mantle of the Tribal Chief. I believe on a number of occasions he's even said that we work for him. His name isn't on my check, but I can't deny that Reigns has reached his full potential. Not allowing that to go on any longer. Rear European uppercut. Ah. Uh... Nice breaker. Showing out their deadlifting prowess and just tossing their opponent like they're nothing. It couldn't have felt good being chucked around like that. Tossed into the corner. Close line in the corner. Shoulders down. This could be it. And they kick out it too. He really thought that was it. Vicious right forearm. Corey, you've been in the ring with Reigns before. How exactly do you counteract someone as explosive as him? Well, first, just to be clear, Cole, I lost against Reigns. So I don't know if I even knew at the time how to counteract Reigns' explosiveness. But I do wish I'd done more to slow and dull him down. Though I know it's a lot easier said than done. Imagine having to continue competing after eating the apron like that. Out of the way in time. And that was taking the attack to the competition with that one. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. And that was a well-executed attack. And he throws the opposition back into the ring. And finds a counter. Uh-oh, this is not going to look pretty. Submission being applied. Submission locked in, going to town on the back. What a unique submission maneuver here. And look at the pain as a pump. Ah, uh, look at this. That's a great escape. Reigns hoists him up. All the way up. Wow. Niagara driver. Two count one. Oh, he kicked out. Close call. That was almost lights out. Repositioning their opponent. Looks like a neck breaker. Oh, forearm to the back. Woo. Well measured. That was just malicious. Yes. And he goes for the pin! Denying a two count there. Gotta change something up with the pin technique. Ooh! Look at that insult to injury with that one. The fight is being taken to Sheamus. Overwhelming attacks for Roman now. Launches into the air for the Superman punch! The head of the table asserting himself once again different he is simply different he got whipped into that corner pattern instincts from Seamus Seamus doing what he can do to stop the beatdown yeah Seamus able to momentarily stop the bleeding but will he also gain control oh uh, using the top rope as yeah. an advantage he got away with that one that was showing great awareness of positioning Placing yourself between the ref and your... Take off. Oh, the high risk doesn't pay off. A completely ill-advised decision. Likely going to pay for it in the rest of this match. Scooped up to the wall slam. Oh, my Look at goodness. This. From the ground up. Super slam. human. What are you guys thinking? Obviously not about the ref's count, Cole. Talk about a close call. Ah, the Celtic Warrior. One of the most physical men in WWE history. Ooh. <laughs> We're seeing one. Makes him pay with a counter. And 
and sent right into the corner. Superman punch! Oh, look out! The spear! Sheamus is in crisis mode. Ten. Kick out! I thought it was finished off for sure. What? How did Sheamus kick out of that? Not quite quitting time yet for the Celtic Warrior. And Reigns absolutely can't believe it, but he cannot let that slow him down. You have to sense that fatigue is starting to become a factor at this point. Make no illusions of it. This is coming down to a battle of attrition. Gut kick! Nothing fancy there. And Roman getting stuck with even more offense. Sheamus came looking for a fight, and this is clearly just what happens when he finds a fight. The Celtic Warrior making the climb. Staggering to his feet. Incoming! Good Lord! Taking flight! That's gravity taking a break before coming down like thunder. Oh, what a clothesline. Forcefully delivered. Taking the fight near our announce table. I really hope we get these desks at a discount. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Sheamus with the Irish curse. Backbreaker. Broad kick! Sheamus making an emphatic statement. Makes the cover. Look at the look on his opponent's face, Cole. He can't believe it. The unmitigated power of Sheamus was not enough to put this away. The Celtic Warrior is going to have to hit even harder to end this. And what a maneuver we just saw there. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Oh, enough already. He's lining him up. to the outside. That's playing fast and loose with your own body. That is weaponizing your body. That's what that was. And look at this. The blood seeping down Sheamus' face. Don't come over here. Cole, quick. Use Saxton as a human shield. Defiant counter to Reigns. Sheamus asking the WWE Universe. Maybe that will shut him up. Driven down. Roman Reigns has just taken command. The power of shame is being suppressed. Goodness gracious. Listen to this place. It's unreal. The decibel level in here right now is breaking glass. These fans are on fire. Reigns sizing up the target. Reigns put his stamp on this one. Cover! Two! Roman Reigns is your winner tonight. Here is your winner, Roman Reigns! It's all over and Reigns stands victorious. He said he would do it. Get used to seeing it. The Roman Empire grows as Reigns continues to conquer his opposition. The baddest woman on the planet is here. Ready to take more names and break more arms. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Venice Beach, California. The baddest woman on the planet, Ronda Rousey. She won the Women's Royal Rumble the night she returned to WWE and is once again dominant. Ronda Rousey's got her game face locked. She is ready to compete. Get ready for brutal judgment. Rhea Ripley is a tough, tough woman.
representing the Judgment Day from Adelaide, Australia, Rhea Ripley. Physically imposing and a talented athlete. This is a woman who knows how to put her strength to devastating use. Yeah. Uh, Rhea Ripley is capable of anything inside the ring. Yeah. You've got to respect that. The ice-cold expression on her face tells you all you need to know about Rhea Ripley. Rhea has complete confidence in herself. Ronda Rousey. Rousey out here, and she quickly became known for her resourcefulness in the ring. One might say it even makes up for her relatively new status as a WWE superstar. From judo to MMA, now in WWE, whenever the slightest opportunity presents itself, he looks for and finds a way to capitalize each and every time. Just another skill that makes her the baddest woman on the planet. It's for that very reason that Rousey is so dangerous in the ring. Now let's see if she's prepared to take on the nightmarish Rhea Ripley. At the core of her being, Rhea Ripley is one of the most physically dominant superstars in the WWE locker room. Yeah, Saxon, I think the confidence that Rhea has now makes her more dangerous than she ever was before. The arm getting pummeled. Oh, no! Stun gun! Quickly, the cover. She was close to the end there. That was a long two count there. Ah, right to the back. I've noticed Rhea Ripley likes to get right down to business in the ring. How do you compete against someone who likes to come out swinging and control the tempo of the match? Well, you have to come out swinging just as hard, if not harder. Matching Ripley blow for blow might be the only way to convince her that you're a serious threat. Here's a snapmare. And a basement drop kick. That was coming in hot at breakneck speed. Going fast and living dangerously. Crashing down with a vertical suplex. Watch out, they're coming towards the announce desk. What the hell are you doing, Byron? Big form. Can she capitalize? Start counting, Saxton. One, two, three. We could be here four. all day. Power. I think you're right. Rotating vertical suplex. Nicely done. And she goes for the pin. Kick out at one. Not time to expect victory yet. Just look at the power of Rhea Ripley. Oh, devastating face bump. Quickly, the cover. No, kicks out. She's still as determined as ever. This has got to be one of the most knockdown, drag out progressions of this. Could be it. Cover for the win. And she thwarts the pin attempt in one. Right now, I just don't know what it's going to take. Rousey wants to end this. Piper's pin. Rousey hitting that as she covers for the pin. Powers out. Somebody pinched me. I, I gotta be dreaming. There's no way she's still in this match. The baddest woman on the planet takes her down and out. And just able to make it to the ropes. That was a close call. Perched up top, a diving knee drop. Shoulders.
shoulders down. Oh, what a celebration. A heartbreaking defeat for her opponent, but she is yeah, soaking left in it the all moment. Out there. Look, this was an incredible matchup between these two. And she, what, what the? Why? Well, because she can, I guess. I guess winning the match wasn't enough. She wants to make sure her opponent, oh, never competes again. This is just sad.